National Development Minister Corbyn Wan has outlined big plans for the upcoming Woodlands Regional Centre. The project will have two distinct precincts and is part of the Singapore's draft master plan for land use, which will be exhibited later this year. The two precincts will be developed from some 100 hectares of land. 70% will be used for the Woodlands North Coast. This includes the area between Republic Polytechnic and the Woodlands Waterfront. Well, the Woodlands North Coast is envisioned to be a unique waterfront and leisure destination for Singaporeans. Now, the intention is to create business, lifestyle and residential developments all within the large greenery and the waterfront environment. Woodlands Central, which is the area around the Woodlands MRT station, will form the other precinct. It will be turned into a pedestrian-friendly regional retail hub. There will be more shopping malls, more HDB, uh, BTOs, uh, more private condos, ECs, and of course, commercial activities, and therefore, jobs. Jobs for the people so that they don't have to travel very far to go to their workplaces. The regional centre will be served by two new MRT stations on the Thompson Line, which will be completed by 2019. The Woodlands North Station will serve as an interchange for the future rail link to neighbouring Johor. Mr Kaur said there are also plans to site an immigration clearance facility there. But it's unlikely for the high-speed rail system between Singapore and Kuala Lumpur to be sited in Woodlands. So there are plans where to land the rapid, where to land the high-speed Train. Possibility in the west, possibility in the east, possibility in the centre. We do not know what the final of, uh, line will be. Unlikely to be in the north because the north, with our development, as you can see, will be quite congested. Mr. Kaur said it will take about 15 to 20 years to develop the Woodlands Regional Centre. And he said even with the development's new housing will always be kept affordable. I'm so confident because we are the one who set the price for the new HDB flat. It is not left to the market. We stabilise the, the BTO prices. And the prices will be linked in relation to the median income of the targeted population. So we can always make sure that the new BTO prices will be affordable for new families starting up. And that is a promise which we can, we can deliver. Members of the public are invited to give their feedback, including the names for the two precincts.